Some more Windows 10 headaches. Uh, I'm using Window Movie Maker 6 because the new one's just chunk. And, well, I've uh, been trying to save videos. When I tried to save a video, I'd come up here, I'd say, uh, file, publish, movie. What I was getting, I was getting this error message. I wrote it down. Windows Movie Maker cannot publish the video to the specified location. Verify that the original source files used in your movie are still available. Yes, they were. And that the publishing location is still available. Yes, plenty of space on the hard disk. That there is enough free disk available on the hard, uh, hard disk space available. Then try again. Yeah, all the files are there. The hard disk is, is huge, whatever. And so I fought with this. The Microsoft support site is no good. It doesn't have anything to help me out. Uh, so anyway, I finally just started to play around with it. I came over here to uh, Tools, Options. And I opened up this thing, and you can see the ones up here that are unchecked. Well, those are the ones I unchecked to get it to start working. These other ones that are checked that are in Chinese, they were not there a few minutes ago. So suddenly these things pop in. It must be this uh, Windows 10 automatic updating feature. And they gave me these, the unchecked ones, because I didn't have any originally. And I was just using the Windows default uh, video settings, uh, video filters. And then these things pop in there the other day, and they must have come in yesterday. And they were causing me, every time I try to save it, I'd either get the error message I just showed you, or if I could save a file, a small enough file, it would come out black. And so I unchecked these things, and it started working. But again, a few minutes later, these things uh, obviously came in and downloaded themselves and installed themselves. So it's still working, so I'm going to leave them alone. But again, another Windows 10 nightmare. Uh, just uh, and Microsoft has been no help. You look up this error message that I showed you uh, on their website and you get some really lame advice and none of it works. So if you have this problem, you're getting the black screen, you're getting this error message, uh, go in there and try unchecking some of your uh, the video filters and see if that uh, helps you out. Well anyway, this is short and sweet and I hope you found it useful and interesting.